the oddest ending to a volume of Yaoi I've ever read. Ooh, Yaoi review. Hi everybody, it's Corbin, and today we are going to talk about Love to Hate You by Makoto Tenteno. All right, we'll read the back and we shall delve into it. The Kenoi and the Kazuki families have been fighting like cats and dogs for generations. Masaya Kanoa and Yumi Kazui attend the same elite high school and are known to all as arch rivals, but do they really hate each other? Masaya still cherishes a childhood memory of a time when Yuma shared a treasure with him. Now they share a secret attraction. Can they hide their passions? Burning desires has a way of erupting into flames. Makoto Tenteno's first tantalizing yaoi manga. From the creator of Yellow and Hero of Heel comes a yaoi version of Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Yomeo? Enjoy. This is rated M for Mature or 18 plus and is published by Do, uh, Do uh, Press. So yes. Now, to start off with, let's talk about the art style. It is actually kind of a very classic mid-90s, early 2000 kind of art style. It very much so reminds me of the classic kind of Gundam characters if you watch the anime. That's kind of the art style here. Um, as far as that goes, it's very pleasing to the eye. It's very traditional. Um, anything that isn't exactly the modern, more trendy version of how they are drawn, you don't really seem to hold it against it because the plot line picks up relatively quickly and gets interesting. So, it starts out with a kind of interesting beginning. It starts out with both boys fighting over a girl. And now that isn't interesting all on its own, except for the way it evolves later. So both boys fight over the same girl, which is another rival family that has prestige to their name. Not money, but prestige. The other boys have the money. And they both want this prestige along with the family's lands to make their state bigger and to be able to expand their business better. Well, from there, things kind of erupt into both boys hating each other for a few pages, then falling in love, having sex, then kind of being distant in denial, ridden with it, then it evolves into them breaking up, one of them going to America, and then coming back in a very odd, interesting way. It is not the worst yaoi in the universe, actually. That is the majority of this yaoi volume. There is... Let me see. That one ends... It's that much of the original, of the first part of the yaoi. It's almost the entire book. So the story isn't bad. It is interesting enough. It does feel very standard. If you have read Romeo and Juliet, you roughly know how it goes, except for nobody dies in this one. I mean, literally. Metaphorically, I guess you could say emotionally people die, but it, even then, it's not that dramatic. Um, there is a lot of pull and struggle about loyalty to your family, loyalty to keeping it a secret, loyalty to gender stereotypes, loyalty to sexuality stereotypes, and it's kind of like the whole coming of age, realizing that you can be your own person and still have the life you want to lead kind of scenario. So yes, I mean, it's good. The first story is by far the better of the two. The second story is kind of a WTF moment slash funny in a ironic kind of creepy way. So the first story ends up with them getting back together, or we are assuming they're back together, and that's just how it ends. Then the last story is about a high school teenager who has a very obsessive personality. He's about to be a senior in high school, and he's about to be taking his exams. He finds a man who reminds him of someone, they never clarify who, but someone who he really, really liked and missed and found very attractive. And the boy proceeds to stalk that man. Um, he proceeds to stalk him to the point that he knows when he has sex, who he has sex with, how many girlfriends he has, what kind of food he eats, when his bills are coming into his mail slot, what his name is, what his address is, what his phone number is. So he's a hardcore stalker. Well, 
he gets caught in the act of stealing mail from the man's mailbox or trying to return the mail. And things kind of flip. The stalker becomes the stocky. And the stalker, though with more innocent intentions, ends up having his first sexual encounter kind of not willingly. So when you read it, it kind of made me go, what the F just happened? And then once I had finished reading it, and I mean, I was stunned. I laughed because the way it ended was so ironic and was so like, wow, was that for real? And then after that, I was just like, this is so messed up. So I don't know quite how I felt about that one. To be honest, overall, this thing got a three and a half stars, closer to three, but it's still three and a half. So I would encourage you guys to kind of check this out. Um, as far as having to have it, I wouldn't necessarily say yes, unless you were absolutely obsessed with yellow and you're loyal to Makoto Tateno. Um, that's probably the only way I'd really say go ahead and get it. Now, this is an older yaoi, but it was a fun read. Um, I'm happy that I read it. I'm kind of tired of the coming-of-age romance story, so I'm going to probably try to switch keel and look for a different sort of genre for a while. But, yeah. If you guys have questions or comments or have read this before, give me a comment down below. Share this with a friend who likes Xiaoi, and I will talk to you guys later. Do you Bye. like what you see? Hmm, then... Subscribe!